back to Chibi Robo, everybody. Glad to see you're back for episode two. It means you probably liked episode one enough to join in the series. So it's daytime now, which means we get to explore more of the house, meet more of the characters, and also we got a lot of moolah now, so we can buy stuff from the Chibi store. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna buy timer 15, and we're gonna have that for probably the rest of the game. We're also gonna buy the Chibi Blaster because this is an important piece of equipment. Chibi Blaster. I adore that jingle at plays whenever you buy something. You've upgraded, keep it up, Chibi Robo, and let's go! I listen to it, I actually am okay with my television voice. My Drake Redcrest voice is awful, though. Doesn't sound even remotely like uh, what I wanted it to, so maybe I'll just give him a more masculine voice in the future. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, my bad. Stop throwing party poppers around. Come on. Anyhow, we got 15 minutes of gameplay today, so probably going to be a pretty interesting one. We're going to have a lot to do. Maybe I'll have to break it up each day into two episodes. We'll have to wait and see. So we got Jenny drawing now. Dad's sitting on the couch. Get used to seeing him there. <laughs> They're already dropping more waste paper. Come on, candy wrappers, I cleaned these up last night, bro. Anyhow, we have a Chibi Blaster now. Also, the dad's playing with the Drake Redcrest action figure we talked about last night. Chibi Blaster, uh, you can shoot things around with it, and if you go into first person mode with Y, you can aim where you shoot like it's a first person shooter. It's great. We'll explore more of that later. In the meantime, now that the dog is gone, Pick up all the trash next to it. Hey there, Chibi Robo. How goes it? You getting used to our house yet? My wife is mad at me, but don't worry about it. Just go and get a lot of happy points, okay? Okay. I was actually trying to pick up the cookie crumbs, but... That's cool. I can talk to you too. Oh my gosh, what a slob! He's just surrounded by trash! <laughs> Candy bag. Oh, he's putting off his own proper receptacle. Looks like he's eating Pop Rocks, like, straight. Are Pop Rocks even still a thing? I'm pretty sure Pop Rocks have, like, not really been a thing for years. Like, they were popular when I was a kid, but that was a while ago. Probably. Space Hunter Drake Redcrest is on soon! I can't wait! Woo! This <laughs> the dad is literally just a kid in an adult body. Which is kind of endearing, but also not. Because he's a dad. This is a faux news emergency update. Huh? This just in. Chibi Robos everywhere are coming under attack. And the perpetrators appear to be... The Spider Wars. Where did they come from? Where did they attack? We don't know. Where did he come from? Where did he go? I already come from Cotton Eye Joe. Perhaps they hate Chibi Robos winning smile. Viewers, ask yourself, is your Chibi Robo safe, or is it in mortal danger? This is Ron Brookjaw, reporting for Phone News. Now let's go to Sunny Merriweather with tomorrow's forecast. Sunny? Thanks, Ron. You're going to like my forecast. Tomorrow will be sunny, rainy, or, um, hailing. Wow, he's, he's the best weatherman ever. Also, I love how it's called Faux News, or Fox News. <laughs> so clever. I love it. No, that's all wrong. The Spiders are the Chibi Robo's friends. They are. At least they should be. Aw, oh, Frosting. <laughs> Listen, Chibi Robo, you need to be careful. Those Spiders are dangerous right now. And if something were to happen to you, I'd be really sad. Got it? Aw, uh, he at least seems to have a big heart. But also, he's, um... Uh, yeah, yeah, he's not very responsible. Hey, Jenny. Oh, uh, she's drawing! That's cute. Oh, she drew a little bit on the road. Don't worry, we have a toothbrush. <laughs> this stain takes a while to sweep out. 
Oh, she's drawing frogs. What a surprise. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit. She's weird. <laughs> she's a weird child. <laughs> I'm with the mom. It's a little off. Oh! She is cute. Climb, ribbit. She's cute, but also, yeah, I understand the mom is worried about how she still thinks she's a frog when she's eight. Yeah, maybe. She might, she might be on the spectrum, perhaps. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit. I can draw a ribbit. Aw, Jenny just gave you 13 happy points. I love how she kisses you when uh, she's happy. Spread the happiness. Draw a bit. Oh, she's drawing a new thing now. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, gimme, ribbit. We do have a frog ring for her. If you give her trash, she'll be like, no, Ribbit. <laughs> she won't be offended. Let's give her a frog ring. Thanks, Ribbit. Jenny just gave you 33 happy points. And 50 bucks. <laughs> nice. Spread the happiness and the money. Nine more, Ribbit. Yeah, so there are ten frog rings scattered throughout the game. If you give them all to her, something awesome happens. Anyhow, um, Chow? That stupid dog. <laughs> okay, the dad is an absolute slob and throws trash everywhere, but Tao's no better. He's just tracking muddy pop rats all over the house. Uh -oh. Is there an outlet nearby? There's one back there. Oh, there's one over here. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Woohoo! A hundred battery! That was close! Oh, come on, Telly. I've had like six battery left. Ready, then let's go! Give him to tell you, like, a high-pitched, slightly gay British accent. <laughs> Alright, so this is a room we haven't been in before. You can tell this is a different room from the kitchen because it's got the purple mosaics on it instead of the yellow ones. This is the foyer, where we heard the weird noise coming from. I love how the music speeds up when you're carrying your plug as well. Hey, who's that? <laughs> Tex, Frisco! What the heck? <laughs> Egg army that's yes sir. I want to report immediately! What is that thing? Um, it's uh, an intruder, sir. I think it came from the living room, sir. Form a perimeter, man! Yes sir! Go, go, go! <laughs> Defensive positions! There are some other weird characters. These are like little army men egg action figures. <laughs> Dang, they got the moves though. They're also armed with fake guns that shoot actual real things. An unauthorized intruder has entered the area! The Free Ranger's pride is at stake! Stop the intruder, I'll make you egg salad! I feel like this is a terrible voice for him. If he comes into range, let him have it! Don't let your guard down, men! Jimmy Robo, this isn't good! No, it's not. Someone's playing the tuba again. Oh! The strange sound is coming from over there! 
Is Chipper over the only one who can hear it? It's going to be really hard to get over there. These rangers mean business. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they shoot you a lot, and that r makes you run out of energy real quick. And oh dear god. And we're dead. Yeah, going for the foyer, or the foyer, is a bad idea. Oh, Chibirobo, look at the state you're in. Oh, dear. <laughs> we are in a full body cast. This is bad. And I thought maybe we could make it to the top of the Chibirobo together. But it, we only lasted less than a day. No, I'm okay. Oh! You're alive! I was worried sick. Remember, you're a robot. If your energy ever drops at the top to zero, you'll switch off just like that. Watch your charge. What were those egg action figures shooting at me that made me lose energy that quickly? What the heck? And they're, they were using just like wooden sticks as their guns. Man, those those guys are tough. And use an outlet if you have to recharge. Oh, and you should know if we ever pass out like that, if you ever pass out like that again, don't get too worried. Your faithful friend, Television, that's me, will carry you back to the GB house. Oh, and another thing. If you press the X and select remove, you'll change out of your trauma suit. <laughs> the trauma suit. Oh! Oh, uh, it looks like you lost some moolah. What? Don't look at me. Oh! Chibi Robo! You can buy Chibi batteries from the online shop now. They'll come in handy, I think. If you get one of these, you can recover just enough energy to go and recharge yourself. Pick one up and try it out. Let's adjust your happy point tone. Your Chibi ranking has gone from 41,500 to 9,100 for making it into the top 10,000. Set yourself to send you a special gift, a brand new bonus battery. Whoa, would you look at that? Your battery power went up to 120. Oh man, Telly's voice, Telly's voice kills my voice to do. In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 216 more happy points. That's a lot more. Get out there and earn more happy points. I know you can make it to Super Chief Robo. Let's go. Oh! Hmm, what is this? Cedrosoft Soft has been secretly developing an all-new brand of Chibi gear? Isn't that exciting, Chibi Robo? Well, while you're here, Chibi Robo, would you like to say it? No, I'm good. I don't want to save after that embarrassment. Anyhow. Welcome to Chibi PC. Online shop. So now we can buy the charge chip. Charge chip enables the Chibi Blaster to fire a charge shot. So this deals more damage and is necessary to access a few things in the game. We also have the Chibi battery. This is not a battery extension. This is a backup battery. It's your spare battery. So what how it works is if you run out of when you buy this when your uh, energy runs to zero, the battery will go off and it'll fill you up like 30 energy or something. So just enough to go to the next uh, outlet. It can be useful. And then there's the range chip, which uh, this allows you to shoot longer distance shots with the GP Blaster. That's important because there will be some things you need to shoot that are out of range for the normal one. Then you got the hot rod in the space to grab one. Please come around. Come on, you're, you're making... Telly, you're making the poor injured robot clean up your med- Oh, I can totally use this suit to get sympathy points. Come on. Man, it does not want me to pick that up. Chibi Robo! Just seeing you injured gives me the vapors. It's not good for my heart. How does it give you the vapors if you're a robot? I don't really want to know, actually. Anyhow, later. Living room. So yeah, if you have to run out of batteries in order to get this trauma suit. And also, much like how the Drake Redcrest suit has a pose, this one also has a pose. If you press Z, fall over and collapse. If we stay collapsed for a long enough time. Are you alright, Chibi Robo? Head in there, I'll take you to the Chibi house now. <laughs> and 
And now we're literally dead. <laughs> we became a ghost. Oh, Chibi Robo! <laughs> Don't freak me out like that! Let's adjust your happy point total because you got seven happy points for <laughs> sweeping up my uh, tears. Chibi Robo, you went from 9,100 to 8,859. In order to get to the next bonus battery, you need 209 more happy points. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I know this. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird, you have to run out of battery to get the trauma suit, and then you have to use the trauma suit to collapse in order to get the ghost suit. The ghost suit you actually do need for a side quest, though, in the game. Also, this one, al this one also has a pose. Every suit has a pose, if you press Z in this one. Chibi Robo! Hey, you can't use the pose here! Oh, that's no fun. Yeah, so we already have three of the suits in the game. <laughs> the ghost costume is so weird. Yeah, our pose with this. <laughs> it's so weird. That also took a lot of energy. Holy cow. Let's go to the kitchen. Now that it's daytime, we can do more stuff in here. Oh, yep, the mom. The mom's over there. Tao is playing with Sophie, the dog toy. That's cute. Hey, Tao. Hi. What's up? <sighs> oh, he, he doesn't like us. Tao. Not in the house. Glad the dog toy doesn't seem to mind getting chewed on by the dog. She actually seems to mind if she doesn't. Hey, Mrs. Sanderson, what's up? I'm busy right now, Tao. She, she thinks we're the dog. I've never been more offended in my life. So now that uh, the night has passed, the shelf of uh, the drawer is not open. So we can actually use a staircase to get up here. You be quiet, Tao. Trust me, nobody wants me to attempt to do the mom's voice. Actually, I guess I can try it. Oh, Chibo! I'm sorry for saying you were wasted moolah on Jenny's birthday. I'm making my husband sleep on the sofa until he's sorry for what he did. Oh, she got the crazy eyes. I don't like this. Don't worry about it. It's his fault, not yours. Okay. She's washing the dishes and everything. She's great. <laughs> also, apparently he didn't just pass out on the couch. She just made him sleep on the couch. Yeah, this is the mug that the dog toy was admiring. That's a drink Red Crest mug. Cool. Chiba, that belongs to my husband. I don't know if... Oh, forget it. Go ahead and take it. He's got so much Drink Red Crest stuff, he'll never know I gave something away. So this is actually a new tool we get, the mud. Probably the least useful tool in the whole game. However, it can be used to protect yourself from various attacks. You thinking what I'm thinking? Probably. You all are a smart bunch. Jenny's dad, Jenny, and Tao are such slobs! We have garbage and stains everywhere! Thank you! <laughs> this, okay, yeah, uh, the mom in this game is like the only person who's sane. <laughs> I love it when you help out. It saved me a lot of trouble. I'll make sure to give Telly your moolah bonus. It's my pleasure, man. <laughs> I'm Chibi Robo, the Western, <laughs> Western robot. You want to give something to the fish? You can throw it, you can try to throw it if you did, but what you want to do is throw the cookie crumbs in. This problem, don't try this at home. Fish don't, fish should not eat cookie crumbs. You got 16 happy points from the fish? You got 16 more from the fish? <laughs> The fish just keep money to- Man, everything has money in this. Spread the happiness. <laughs> oh, I You're so kind, Chibo. Finger, finger, finger. I should have married you instead of that slob. Um, no, no. 
Don't care how bad the dad is. No, you can't marry a robot, baby. It's a disgrace to marriage. We got the stove here. Don't worry, it's not turned on. Oh, cookie crumbs? <laughs> Okay, she mentioned Jenny, Jenny's dad, and Tao are all slobs. I agree with Jenny's dad and Tao. I haven't seen Jenny for much stuff around. Or maybe Jenny helped uh, the dad for the stuff around. Look how tiny we are. It's so cute. No, Telly, I ain't gonna say. I just realized, television is basically Telly from Sesame Street. I'm worried you're gonna run out of batteries. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Sanderson, you probably don't want to keep Honey Sword tipped over with no lid on. That's, that's just common sense, lady. Come on. Ooh, can we come out here? No, we can't. Oh, well. Yeah, those are deadlines from bill collectors. We're pretty far behind. Aww. This is sad. <laughs> no wonder she was mad that uh, the dad bought us. Oh, well, we'll make it up to you. We'll actually help out around the house. How about that? Flying the doghouse. It's so hard to push the block off the cliff without falling off the cliff yourself. Special item up here, the dog tags. Chibi Robo! The Free Rangers are wearing the same kind of things around their necks. The Free Rangers are the egg uh, soldiers. Oh no, the happy point died before I could pick it up. Wow, happy points can die. Tow! This dog is the biggest slob of them all. <laughs> what a dog. <laughs> Thanks, Tao, for nothing. Blunk. Alright, so now we can go up here. So you can see the uh, teddy bear sticker. What we can do is take up the Chibi Blaster, go into first person mode, and press the A button. And wow, the sticker just disintegrated. Now we can get up here. We wouldn't be able to pull the drawer up open otherwise. Let's just leave it. I love how everyone's just giving money to the robot who really doesn't need it. Like, he can buy some cool stuff from the online store, but that's about it. Oh, I love I love the way they use the platforming in this game. It's so well done. Just like little things like, oh, you climb up the bead necklace. It's wonderful. Don't think there's anything over that way. Nope. This game is so much fun because there's quite a bit to, ex to explore. Even though there are only a small handful of rooms in the house, the rooms are pretty big. Especially the foyer. We barely even touch the foyer. And this is why I charged before going up here. 
Also, generally, the chibi doors that are farthest out of the way are the ones that have the most money in them. As you can see, this one has 300 moolah in it. Nice. No, I want to land on the toaster. Uh, uh, you know what? Whatever. I don't. I don't care. Anyhow, now we can actually get for the foyer. In case you were wondering, how the heck do we get for the foyer if they just blast you to death? Well, we got the mug now, which is a great shield. Also, I recommend going past the foyer as soon as possible, because if you don't, the weird noise is just going to keep playing. The trombone band really, the tuba band really needs to be quiet. They can practice somewhere else, like outside. Unauthorized intruder! Don't let him pass! Take him out! Jimmy Robo, this isn't good. Actually, it is pretty good. We can get for it now. It's going to be really hard to get over there. These rangers mean business. You'll never get through unless you find something you can use as to cover yourself. That's nice that the three rangers use the mug as an example. Like they had the mug on their own guy that they used to demonstrate it. So now we can't be hurt. But other than other than this part, there's like this part and one other part of the game the mug is actually like useful for or necessary. This is the only part the mug is actually necessary for. SON OF A BATTLE TANK! <laughs> well, I guess he didn't look like an enemy. Come to think of it, he may be an ally! But still, my men were just pitiful! Chibi Robo! I can't believe my electronic eyes! That was truly amazing! You ran for those fearsome free rangers without getting shot! You really are superb! Of course, I was able to fly over them. Oh! That strange sound it seems to have come from here. Between you and me, I'm a little scared. But I think we'd better go investigate. The basement. This is... This is a creepy place. Looks like a prison. Like, I... My family used to have an unfinished basement in our house, and it did not look like this. Who keeps throwing the waste? How long has that been here? Like, nobody in this house goes in the basement. Like, ever. Alright. Oh, what a mess! They spilled bottles of Coca Cola everywhere. Empty bottle. Always put refuse in a proper receptacle. And, uh, they spill coke everywhere. Also, this one looks like a pretzel bowl fish. Just the shape of the stain and the color of it. It's actually oil, but, you know, whatever. Broken bottle. Always put refuse in a proper receptacle. Yes, I, I know, Telly. Chibi Robo, I'm worried you didn't understand me. Broken bottle. Oh, he's put refuse in it, but I already picked up the broken bottle. Yes, because it's a different shape one, so you need to hear it again. <laughs> and another empty bottle. And yeah, this place, this place gives me the willies. They did a great job to, uh, portraying the creepy basement in this game. Also, what do we have over here? That's an on ominous guitar medley. It's a giant chibi robo with a plug. Um, let's plug ourselves into the outlet over here before plugging ourselves into him. Whew, that was close! Your energy is full. Are you going to save? No. 
Ready to go, let's go. Hey, no, no worries, big robot. I'll be with you shortly. But first, we have to get rid of these pesky teeth. You've cleaned up a total of 66 stains. Time for a cleaning bonus. Your happy point bonus is... 16 happy points. Oh, man. I hope that the dad never uses the toothbrush again. It is... This toothbrush is beyond salvaging. And your moolah bonus is... 79 moolah. Just your very presence makes everyone happy, happy, happy. All right, that, that's great, buddy. Oh, wait. No, not the mug. We, we never need the mug again, really. So many stains are really hard to see. Anyhow. Let's plug her in. Sure what's happening here. Well, this got weird real fast. <laughs> Like I said, this gets a surprisingly emotional story. a robot and can cry real tears. Yeah. 
You didn't dream, right? It's quite possible you downloaded data from King Robo's memory banks. Whew! All this excitement is really tuckered me out. I'll see you later, Chibi Robo. Well, thanks, Telly. Now I gotta clean up your tears. Tears of a clown. Wow. Get a lot of happy points for cleaning up his tears. Nobody else wants to deal with that. You've cleaned up a total of 74 stains. Time for a cleaning bonus. Hey, I'm not arguing with that. Happy point bonus. 20 happy points. <laughs> I should give this. Telly's voice should be this. And your moolah bonuses. 64 moolah. <laughs> It's just your very presence makes everyone happy, happy, happy. <laughs> it's like the opposite of Tony's phone. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that occasionally, I don't know. <laughs> I can't even ask him, you to say in the comments which one you prefer, because I'm going to probably finish recording the series before I upload the first video. Giga battery. Chibi Robo! Wow! That's a... Huh? What is it? If you plan to take that battery... I thank you to charge it up and bring it back in one piece. Got a wooden pirate figurine. Yarr! And yet that's not what you want. Is it me, Colossal Matey? Yar, if only you can speak to me, Giga Robo. What? Is that a really a Giga Robo? Is he d -d -d dead? Robots don't die, you flying buoy. Oh, you're right. He's got a crooked uh, neck. He sure is big. He's a lot taller than you, Chibi Robo. One moment. According to my data, he's a very old model. He started a trend known as Giga Robo Fever a long time ago. But his energy consumption was too high and his popularity plummeted. Shut your blowhole! You think you're smart, but you know nothing about him. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, thank you very much. If you'll excuse me. For all your sales, matey! Yes? I adore the music in this game. Yar! You come blowing in here like a summer squall and leave without introducing yourselves. Oh, I'm sorry! Uh, my name is Telly. <laughs> my name is Telly. <laughs> and that over there is Jimmy Robo. Don't mind him, he, he doesn't talk much. And who might you be? <laughs> it's about time he asked. I'm the Scourge of the Seven Seas, the Overlord of the Ocean's Blue, the King of all Pirates, Captain Blankbeard. The musical cues in this game are perfect. You're a pirate? I, or at least I used to be. Now I'm nothing more than a shipless landlubber. Oh, how did you lose your ship? That tale's as long as the sea be deep. And as sad as a tailless mermaid. But me throat's as parched as me soul, so I'll be saving me story for a bit. I, I agree. I can use a thick drink of water now. Yar, I loves the taste of water. <laughs> I don't know why, but I love that so much. He's like the fearsome, like, evil pirate. But also, he, he drinks water. Good, uh, good on you, mate. Also, how does he drink water? He's made of wood. That would rot him out. What say ye? Will you return someday and listen to me sad tale of woe? Y y y <clears throat> yes, I promise. Yarr. Never make a promise you can't keep. That's the pirate's code. You do well to remember me words, you overgrown piece of plankton. Yeah, I'll, I'll remember, bro. I won't forget them. Even if I die, I'll come back. 
What did I tell you? Robots don't die. Then you don't get to scurvy neither. You're right. That giga battery's no good by its lonesome. You need to search the house and find the giga charger. <clears throat> Man, like every character in this game kills my voice. Huh, <sighs> that was scary. Anyway, let's go back. Yeah, we can leave the basement now. There is more we can do in here, but we don't have the time. Like, the literal in-game time. It's almost run out. Yeah, so it'll probably be roughly 45 minute videos. Hopefully people don't- well, actually probably less than that, because especially in later episodes I'm going to be able to cut a lot of stuff out. Anyway, that place is creepy. Let's go out back to the foyer. No, no, not him again. You let an unauthorized intruder walk straight through here! You've got yolk for brains! Alright, listen up! You incompetent fools aren't fit for egg salad! You disgrace the Free Rangers! Rotten eggs, every one of you! Yes, sir! If it were up to me, I'd say, you should all be poached! Private Memphis would have been ashamed of you! Yes, sir. Hey! Private Detroit, wake up! <laughs> Listen up! I'm gonna beat your heads into a fearsome fighting omelet! And you'll thank me for it! Alright, soldiers, what are the five Free Ranger rules? Free Rangers rule number one. When Sarge gives an order, Private say, Sir, yes, sir. Free Rangers rule number two. Leave no egg behind. Free Rangers rule number three. Snooze on patrol, get thrown in the hole. Free Rangers rule number four. Show up for roll call or suffer the consequences. Free Rangers rule number five. Failure to follow orders is punishable by scrambling. All right, never forget the five rules. Together we will defeat Tao! <laughs> I just want to emphasize how weird this game is. You've got a bunch of egg action figures with toy guns that shoot real, not real bullets, but like real projectiles. And their overall goal is to defeat the dog. <laughs> Tex Frisco, begin roll call! Yes, sir. Yeah, weird. Everybody in this game is weird. <laughs> and it's amazing. <laughs> Chibi door. Yeah, come on. Plug her in. Hey, I got a hundred bucks. I mean, some people have two hundred bucks, but, you know, hundred bucks is still pretty good. Hey, how's it going, bros? What's up? I'm Morgan. Sarge still talks about Private Memphis all the time. That's nice. What's up, guys? You're slacking! Start over again! Initiate roll call. Sound off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 16, 17, 18. Everyone is accounted for, sir. Show up for roll call where the whole army suffers. But it looks like everyone's here, so today's our lucky day. No one suffers. The Free Rangers just gave you 20 happy points because one of them didn't show up for roll call, but you filled in for them anyways and covered for them, so the pink of the... <laughs> Sarge didn't beat them all up. <laughs> Spread the happiness. <laughs> Good! Roll call is officially done! Tax Frisco! Begin physical training! Yes, sir! Oh, dang. These eggs are doing bigger workouts than I ever do. <laughs> Maybe I should change that. Hey, what's up, bro? 
Your voice, your voice kills my voice. Are you the robot that breached our perimeter? That's me. Well, feed me a depth charge and call it a biscuit. Very impressive. Not bad for a pencil neck robot. Just don't let it go to your scrap metal head. You aren't half the robot that Giga Robo was. Not even half of the half the robot. Or half of that. Ha! Bro, I wasn't saying I was as good as him. No rest until the great Harry Fred is defeated. I mean, you know what? Tal makes my life difficult by tracking mud all through the house. So you know what? I'm actually okay with that. You you do that. Oh, hey. Someone left their shoes on the table. And there's a shoelace that's dangling down. Those are probably Jenny's shoes. They look at Jenny's size. What is this? It's the Free Rangers photo. Okay. That's a special item. <clears throat> Oh, also, there's a doorstop over here, and we can sit down on it. If you sit down on something like a oh, whoa. if you sit down on something like a doorstop, uh, you will not expend any energy at all. So that's kind of cool. Also, if you hang out on here all well enough, say, it looks like you found yourself a nice place to rest. Oh, but you still have work to do. Make hay while the sun shines. All right, fine. So get back in there, champ. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Back to the living room. And now there's a door that connects the foyer and the kitchen together, and that's open now. It wasn't open before, but after you get to the basement, it opens. That was redundant. How's it going? Oh yeah, we could shoot the sticker to get in the backyard, but there's really nothing we can do in the backyard right now. You can't hold any more waste paper because people are such slobs everywhere and you've already picked up ten! <laughs> Throw the bottles out. And the party poppers. Candy wrappers. Wigs. These broken bottles are hazardous. You got a total of 115 happy points. That's a lot. And you got 950 moolah just for throwing the trash out. I mean, truth. That's the truth. Garbage men, you can knock them, but they make pretty good money. I'm not going to break open the window yet. And I know Telly said that, like, it won't make Mrs. Sanderson happy at all. You won't lose happy points by doing it. In fact, like, you should break the window. It, it has no negative effects. Dad's wearing flip-flops in the house. Oh, I hope you make it to number one in the TV Robo rankings. Oh, by the way, the room looks really clean today. You must have worked so hard. You got ten happy points. You got ten moolah. Spread the happiness. Oh, thanks, Dad. It's nice of you. I believe the day is just about done now. Yeah, people just like... I'm, these are probably pennies. So this is probably, yeah, it's probably only like a penny. It's not that big a deal, but it's still free money. Like, come on. Who wouldn't want free money? <gasps> I love how she has the frog eyes. The frog hat. <laughs> Again, Jenny, all the characters in this, except for the mom, are really weird. And it's great, because they're like the good kind of weird. Are you kidding me? I cleaned these up, like, literally just a few hours ago. In-game hours. I love the guitar music it plays when you're scrubbing up stuff with the toothbrush. Oh no! I'm about to run out of battery. Time's almost up, though, so... <laughs> she almost got the nice little walk. This is gonna be one of those games I'm not gonna be able to record like five episodes in a row of, or even like two or three episodes in a row. It, the characters kill my voice.
bro, I'm kind of hurting. JB Robo, you can see me in this photo. Time sure flies when you're making folks happy. Oh, the day is ended. Let's return to the Chibi House. Chibi House. Look at all that money I have. Great work out there. That's just your happy point tone. Do your Chibi ranking is going from? 8,859 to 803! Wow, we're in the top of 1,000. For making it to the top of 1,000. Citrus off to send you a special gift, a brand new bonus battery! Whoa, would you look at that! Your battery power went up to 140! Oh yeah. Above all, you get periodic battery upgrades. In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 281 more happy points. If you're ever going to become Chibi's super Chibi Robo, you'll need some advice, namely mine. Use Y to activate your Chibi Vision and scan your surroundings for items. Use R to open up a map of the room and you'll find yourself in your nearby outlet. To celebrate opening my advice, Poof, I'm handing out free advice. Poof! Well, that's done. So I guess it was Giga Robo who was making that noise we heard, huh? You might not know, but Giga Robo is the brainchild of the legendary engineer Dr. Joy Ebisu of Citrusoft. He made you too. I hope it's Citrusoft, Microsoft meets Apple. It's great. <laughs> Even though he designed you both, Giga Robo is ten times bigger than you are. And he's a hundred times heavier. And don't get me started about his battery. He uses a thousand times more energy than you do. There was an energy crisis a few years back. And all at once, everyone just stopped using their Giga Robos altogether. These days, you can't even pay someone to take the poor guy off your hands. It's sad to see something like this happen. Tossed aside like so much trash. Poor guy. Well, enough moping around. We've got work to do. Let's all go earn some happy points. Mm -hmm. la, 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 la. Oh! Now just take up this giga battery you're carrying with you. Yes, that's it. Look at that! It's already bigger than you are, Chibi Robo. I love how you can fit stuff that's bigger than you are inside your hat or your head. It's pretty heavy. Let's set it over there. So now we gotta find the Giga Charger. If you want to recharge that, that Giga battery, you'll need to find a Giga Charger. There's got to be one around here somewhere, right? Oh, you're here, Chief Robo. Would you like to say anything? Yeah, I would. That's where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. Hope you tune in next time. It's nighttime again. We're going to be exploring the house some more. And who knows? We might go back to the basement and hear Kitten Plankbeard's story, because I think he just enjoyed a single day. So, like, maybe we'll explore the backyard. We'll have to wait and see. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.